Hi Avanti. Avanti is someone who I am actually seeing right now for the first time. Uh, I became friends with her on Instagram because she has a beautiful Instagram profile like she shares interesting thoughts, uh, her views on films and art in general and I just thought this seems like a very interesting person and that's how we connected. Uh and and of course I've never met her in person but uh, I'm meeting her here now so that's that's amazing. And in today's episode of Talking to the Moon Avanti and I but mostly Avanti will talk about uh her passion for cinema something which I share uh, with her but the difference is that she's actively working in the film industry. Uh could you tell me like what all degrees have you done in filmmaking? So uh I would like to rectify that I haven't done degree in filmmaking as such so my graduation was uh, in a vocational course in media and communication so basically uh, it's like a umbrella course where you get to know about uh, everything in media it could be advertisement it could be pr radio television films newspapers everything okay everything that comes under media including okay. the digital media right now new media that we say so i did my graduation in that and then i did my pg diploma in indian film studies so it's a very uh, research based course it is not about film making as such but it is about uh, understanding or reading cinema from mm-hmm. a film academician's ka perspective so if you want to write about films if you want right. to do audience studies uh, if you want to research about it you can do that course so i did that and after that uh, i just finished my masters in media and communication msc media and communication like that okay. so my uh, specialization in graduation and in masters was uh, audio visual production in which i did uh, submit uh, projects like film projects documentary projects so my interest is in uh, audio visual storytelling but i haven't yet pursued any particular uh, you know film making course as such so like you have uh, direction uh, cinematography editing and fti right, right? so right. i haven't pursued that yet i haven't pursued that yet okay yeah. okay that that's amazing and uh, that's such an unconventional route to take for a lot of um, indians uh, how did this switch happen uh, were you always interested in films uh, while growing up uh, or were there or was there like a turning point you remember where you were like okay this is i this is what this is what i want to pursue okay so uh, is it okay if i shuffle in language in between yeah yeah yeah. Oh, completely. yeah yeah completely yeah yeah okay okay so uh, i have always been interested in television films since my childhood I I used to watch a lot of TV a lot of TV <laughs> since my childhood and uh, I was uh, I was very fascinated by uh, you know uh, the impact the cinema had on me because so I, I am a single girl child okay and uh, and my mom used to go to uh, her practice and my dad used to be out so i used to constantly watch television television was my company in a way in a way and uh, like all of us or all of most of the indians i have grown with bollywood so uh, it was always a source of entertainment uh, maybe escape or and and uh, after a certain point of time I think खूप लोकांना असं हे थोडंसं वियर्ड वाटू शकतं बट मला असं वाटतं की मला लहानपणापासून आय डिड वॉच सम सो कॉल्ड आर्ट सिनेमा कोट अँड कोट कारण मला आठवत आहे दूरदर्शनवरती नॅशनल अवॉर्ड बिलिंग फिल्म लागायच्या संडेजला वगैरे किंवा रात्रीच असे फिल्म लागायचे आणि दे वर नॉट नेसेसरीली हिंदी सिनेमा दे यूज टू ब्रॉडकास्ट बेंगॉली सिनेमा तमिळ सिनेमा मल्याळम सिनेमा ऑल दो आय नेवर अंडरस्टूड दी लँग्वेज आणि तेव्हा आय थिंक जास्त सबटायटल्स वगैरे पण नसायचे बऱ्याच वेळेस बट स्टील आय यूज टू आउट ऑफ ऑल सो बिकॉज आय वॉन्टेड टू पास टाईम आय लव वॉचिंग टी व्ही आय वॉच एव्हरीथिंग ऑलमोस्ट एव्हरीथिंग दॅट केम बट uh i felt connected to a different kind of uh, uh storytelling since my childhood itself 
so if i remember my first such film um uh, there is this marathi film called uh, not only mrs rao by gajendra hil so uh, that film revolves around uh, that film re- revolves around uh, sexual abuse etc etc so i watched that i remember watching that film in my fourth standard on yeah so it was it was very disturbing it was very disturbing but i i still remember the visuals that i watched ani manje majha barobar ti ajun hi film ahe manje mala te khup athavta mi je kai kai baghitlele te and uh, in a very nice way in a very uh, i like that film in a very nice way, even though it was disturbing so yeah like i said ki majha connection a cinema sobat uh, fortunately फक्त बॉलीवूड असं मेन स्ट्रीम नव्हतं कधी ऑल दो आय लाईक एव्हरीथिंग आय आय हॅव वॉच शाहरुख खान फिल्म सलमान खान फिल्म आय हॅव बीन दॅट फिल्म बफ बट ह्या फिल्मला पण मी एक्सपोज झाले होते हळूहळू आणि आय थिंक हे जास्त करून नाईन्थ टेन्थ मध्ये जास्त झालं होतं बिकॉज यू रीच टू अ सर्टन पॉइंट ऑफ क्युरिओसिटी राईट वेर यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लोअर सो मेनी थिंग्स सो माय एक्सप्लोरेशन वॉज दिस थ्रू सिनेमा आणि मी असे खूप सगळे बेंगॉली फिल्म बघितले आहेत ज्याच्यामध्ये यु नो दे शो इन्फिडिलिटी रिलेशनशिप इशूज वगैरे वगैरे आय कुडंट प्रोसेस ऑल ऑफ दॅट ऍट दॅट एज बट इफ आय सी माय सेल्फ नाव म्हणजे मी जर स्वतःला बघितलं आय वॉज व्हेरी फॅसिनेटेड विथ द वे दे यूज टू शो समथिंग विच इज नॉट शोन इन हिंदी मेन स्ट्रीम सिनेमा इट इज नॉट व्हेरी what can i say it's not it's not that usual whatever we see in hindi popular cinema na it's very black and white narrative so these kind these kind of films made me very curious ki uh, how can they write such characters or uh, what what is so different about them uh, so so i remember watching this film called uh, the last year by rituparna ghosh Yeah. i think you must you must know that film yeah, yeah. right yeah. Uh, and amitabh bachchan yeah yeah right 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 so i watched that uh, in my high school and i remember me and my best friend uh, used to uh, even she like something you know something different something she wanted to explore that so we both watched that films on, in our respective uh, homes and we used to discuss after like we, when we used to meet at school we used to discuss that and we both loved that film so much manje amala itki awardleli na te film ki manje tithun amchi maitri chi ekdam shuru jhaleli manje ami khup khup close jhalo tya gosti nantar ek so yeah this was my process of uh, being fascinated by cinema i was i was influenced i had impact ani uh, in my school days i was uh, very much uh, active in performance like i i used to participate in dance i used to participate in skits manje popular activities madhe mi hote sabhi kade hote bara peki ani manje mi nehmi stage varti aslyamule i used to love that mane mala khup avad hoti tya goshtinchi anything related to art excited me a lot a lot so mo tyachamule mala maza interest uh, कुठेतरी कळला होता की आय एम व्हेरी मच इन टू आर्ट अँड यु नो ह्युमन कनेक्शन म्हणजे असं काहीतरी इमोशन्स वगैरे वगैरे त्या गोष्टी हे तेव्हा तू विचारलं असतं तर मला काही प्रोसेस करता आलं नसतं हे आता मला कळतंय इंट्रोस्पेक्शन नंतर सो इन एथ स्टँडर्ड आय रिमेंबर वन ऑफ आर इंग्लिश टीचर जस्ट रॅन्डमली आस्ट मी की अवंती why don't you try to uh, pursue an rj course uh, he just randomly asked me ki you know you can be a very good rj because i was very talkative <laughs> i was very talkative in school especially yeah. and he just suggested me randomly i don't know how much he meant it uh, genuinely right. uh, so he just said it and uh, i asked him ki uh, why are you uh, suggesting me this so he told me you have that you have those skills in you and you are very good at communicating uh, you can you can actually interact with people you can entertain them wagera wagera etc so after that point i felt like yeah maybe 
maybe i'm just interested in storytelling etc cetera, etc cetera. i'm interested in dance i'm interested in uh, talking with people and collaborating with them and uh, making some art out of it something like that like that right so ani khup khup lahan pani mala kalala ki mala maths avadat nahi i i i get nervous with numbers i am not that great in maths either but uh, as you said uh indian uh, indian culture is such that uh, they are very uh they are very okay for a child to pursue science even if you are not interested in it because it has scope it right. has scope right so uh, similarly even my parents suggested me to take science even though they knew my interest was not in it uh, but my mother said ki tu jar maths ghetla kya tu science ghetla to tujha scope padel ह्याच्यानंतर तुला जे काही करायचं ते कर म्हणजे एकदा इलेव्हन ट्वेल्थ होऊ दे आणि मग तुला जे काही करायचं असेल ते तू करू शकतेस असं सो आय आय स्कॉड रिअली वेल इन माय ट्वेल्थ बट इट इज जस्ट हार्ड वर्क ओके इफ यू आस्क मी माय स्कोर्स नाव आणि तू मला काही न्यूमेरिकल सॉल्व्ह करायला दिलं मला नाही जमणार आहे ते मी सगळं विसरलेली आहे पूर्णपणे बट या माय इंटरेस्ट वॉज नोन टू माय पेरेंट्स they they knew that uh, i am interested in such things and uh, the thing is jari majha aini mala he suggest kele asel asle asel tari hi she used to have uh, these newspaper cuttings tacha made ashe kai courses astel jachat mala interest as shakto so she kept it up till my 12th आणि त्याच्यानंतर आम्हाला कळालं की फर्ग्युसन कॉलेज मध्ये रिसेंट बीवोक मीडिया अँड कम्युनिकेशन असा कोर्स आहे आणि मला मी त्यांना सांगितलेलं माझ्या पेरेंट्सला की मला जर चांगले स्कोर मिळाले तर आय एम नॉट गोईंग टू पर्स्यू वॉट यू वॉन्ट मी टू पर्स्यू आय एम गोईंग टू डू वॉट आय वॉन्ट टू डू इट्स फायनल इट्स फायनल म्हणजे मी दुसरा ऑप्शनच ठेवलं नाही ऍक्च्युली मी इंजिनिअरिंगचे ऑप्शन ठेवले नाही काहीच ठेवले नाही इवन टिल दी एंड दे थॉट की मी थोडस चेंज होईल माय फादर थॉट दॅट माय नॉट माय फादर बट आय डिड नॉट सो फॉर्च्युनेटली आय गॉट ऍडमिशन इन फॉर्ग्युसन कॉलेज बिकॉज ऑफ माय गुड मार्क्स या अँड देन द जर्नी स्टार्टेड ओके वाव या दॅट्स रिअली फॅसिनेटिंग अँड देन यू यू आर ऍट फॉर्ग्युसन सो वॉट डिड बी वोक इन टेल how much of it was filmmaking so it's not a filmmaking as such they right. they have uh, introductory subjects they they teach you everything uh, that indulges uh, media communication uh, for example you get to know a bit about journalism in which you have print journalism radio journalism uh, you have a subject with digital media as well they teach you sound editing uh after effects like they introduce uh, you with different softwares and uh, also they uh, teach you aesthetics as well aesthetics and grammars of visual audio visual language okay. that's what my course entails of and in third year in my time uh, we had two options so in third year you had to uh, either choose for audio visual production or uh, media research or journalism like that this was mm-hmm. my course and which is when you went for uh, audio visual production yeah yeah okay i see and then after that uh, was the diploma degree correct yeah yeah which was in which was indian film studies indian, indian film film studies. studies okay yeah. okay i see so uh, i want to know about the indian film studies part more uh, what was it like like what all did you learn okay uh, so uh, basically it is related to uh, like i said earlier it, it is more to do with research it right. is more to do with uh, uh, how you will read the cinema uh, with the perspective of a film academic mm-hmm. or a research scholar or a critic right like that so they have uh, they they make you understand how to uh, how to uh, like do analysis do analysis of any kind of cinema that you are watching you need to understand the technical terms as well but also uh, what all goes in making that cinema uh, why these characters are shown in that way uh, what 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 is that cinema trying to talk to you mm-hmm. so uh, we had these subjects where uh, 
we got to learn about aesthetics and grammar we got to learn about audience studies etc etc so there are many such subjects but uh, basically it is not about film production you are not uh, asked to produce a film there mm. or craft a film there but you have to do a thesis there you have to choose a subject and write a paper about it so my subject if you are interested to know yeah. I, i can tell you about it yeah, yeah of course i can tell you about it. so i did uh, a research paper on a uh, live in relationship in hindi popular cinema how is it portrayed in hindi popular cinema after 2000 like that wow okay yeah interesting yeah. Yeah. so i took i think 6 to 7 films which had befikre shuddha desi romance uh and few other salam namaste etc etc uh, which okay. portrayed live in relationship and uh, so i go, i uh, realized that uh, most of these films even though they uh, even though they are trying to you know uh, talk about the current uh, you know how how our generation looks at uh, relationships but uh, if you see their uh, conclusion the mm-hmm. ending part mm-hmm. uh, except uh, i think uh, shuddha desi romance all of them show show the solution uh, show marriage as the solution to the okay. entire thing so whatever okay. conflict you have within mm-hmm. the relationship whatever it is marriage as a system is shown as a solution for uh, whatever problem you have if you observe it so even in befikre uh, somewhere i felt that they somewhere they leaned by the by the end they were trying to uh, show a happily ever after kind of a scene it's it's a very common uh, trait in indian rom coms that you want if you see mainstream cinema uh, her hero heroine ki end mein shaadi ho jati hai ya unko bachcha ho jata hai something right. like that happens right. and that's your happy solution that's that's but in shuddha desi romance that was broken they didn't uh, in fact their anxiety or their nervousness to get married was shown very nicely i personally like that attempt a lot right i i like that up- attempt because it comes from a production house uh, which is known for so called mainstream uh, mainstream uh, popular endings right yeah correct so exactly so that's why i like that film this is my one observation out of many Like that. Oh, that's really interesting. Uh, I haven't seen any of these films, uh, but I'm sure yeah. like that would be the solution. And now that you say that that's how they show it, it completely makes sense, mm-hmm. especially for the Indian culture. Uh, what other interesting yeah. things did you find in the thesis? I'm really curious to know. So, uh, of course, uh, during my textual analysis, also, but but uh, so there is this process of literature review before. Uh, Uh, going into data collection or doing your analysis uh, right. you have to go through uh, research papers or documents that are related to that subject uh, and you need to know what all has been done in that subject so my observation was that many people have wrote about uh, how marriage is portrayed in indian cinema and how the concept of it has changed with time and how the uh, of course the representation or presentation has changed with time so i think reading those papers was very insightful for me also because the way they talked about how uh uh in earlier years uh, people who are considered to be orthodox or traditional uh they thought marriage as a uh they thought weddings as as a status to show off their uh, culture or something like that and even that is that is still there today in our generation it's just that ki uh, capitalism mule kiwa katla manta thoda sa technology vegli zhalya mule apan tala ajun ek modernized touch dilaya mm-hmm. so the difference is my parents uh, would get married and it is also the, the wedding is also uh, like shown as a show of thing to the community itself and now with our generation it it is more to do with, it is not restricted to my community it is it has gone beyond that manje globalization mule char lok ji mala social media var olaktat fakt olaktat maybe te manje majha jawalch nasti but i am going to do something at my wedding that might be very interesting for them too 
right so i will do this whatever pre wedding post wedding etc yeah. etc ani khup kharcha karnar apan destination weddings karna just to show that uh, i am of that status correct in a way in a way yeah so yeah so that that was there in one paper okay so doing a thesis is a big deal uh, and i'm sure you must have researched a lot of films uh, you must have seen a lot of films how has your understanding of film film journalism or film criticism evolved as you have progressed over the years as you have read more watched more films studied more okay uh so i think i will uh, divide it in three parts i guess yeah so so the one we discussed in first question itself like how i was interested in uh, film cinema as an audience mm-hmm. and then when i entered the graduation uh, fortunately i had really great teachers very great teachers who exposed i won't say teachers they were my facilitators and mentors because there was no that uh, no hierarchy we were exposed to a lot of content a lot of content from uh, overall the world mujhe mujhe sagra jagah madna kay kay films banta hai kay documentaries hota hai kay short films banavle gelele ahet ani atta banta hai advertisements ya badal open discussion asays open discussion asays and uh, they always promoted us to talk about it in whichever way you can so because we were very interested like me and few of my friends were very interested in cinema and stuff we used to ask lot of questions many questions sometimes they were left unanswered intentionally to like uh, to do the self study part the just teachers just used to uh, you know give some suggestions आणि आम्ही एक्सप्लोअर करायला मोकळे होतो त्याच्यानंतर आणि कधी कधी ते आम्हाला सांगायचे उत्तर द्यायचे ते आम्हाला सो दॅट वॉज दी सेकंड पार्ट वेअर आय इव्हॉल्ड अ लॉट इन टर्म्स ऑफ अंडरस्टँडिंग सोशो पॉलिटिकल ॲस्पेक्ट्स अँड कॅरेक्टर डिझाईन हाव हाव डू यू राईट अ कॅरेक्टर हाव टू यू हाव डू यू पोझिशन अ कॅरेक्टर इन सर्टन स्पेस अँड सर्टन टाईम ते डायनामिक्स मला ह्या प्रोसेस मधन मला कळत गेलं आणि बिकॉज आय वॉज व्हेरी मच इंटरेस्टेड इन शुड आय से या आय वॉज व्हेरी मच इंटरेस्टेड इन सायकोलॉजी ह्युमन बिहेवियर वगैरे वगैरे सो हा झाला कॉन्टेंटचा पार्ट आणि देन आय वुड से की इंडियन फिल्म स्टडीजनी मला एक रिसर्च पर्स्पेक्टिव्ह दिला लाईक हाऊ विल यू सी अ फिल्म फ्रॉम अ फिल्म क्रिटिक पर्स्पेक्टिव्ह सो मला तीन गोष्टी वेगळ्या वेगळ्या अनुभवायला मिळाला ऍज अ फिल्म मेकर ऍज अन ऑडियन्स आणि ऍज अज समन हु इज पर्स्युईंग अ कोज ऍज अ फिल्म अकॅडमिशन सो हे तीन गोष्टी झाल्यात आणि आत्ता जर मला विचारलं तू एका एक दोन सेंटेन्सेस मध्ये आय विल टेल यू एक्झाम्पल या कबीर सिंग जेव्हा रिलीज झाला होता तेव्हा मी जे इंस्टाग्राम वरती पोस्ट स्टोरी लिहिली होती ती मी आज नसती लिहिली आय वुडंट हॅव एक्सप्रेस्ड दॅट ब्लंटली Mm-hmm. as i expressed that time yes manje maza thought process ajuni tasach ahe i do find many things offensive in, in that film but uh, ja paddhatini me mi te lila hota na te mi nasta lila atta because i think ki every kind of a film or every kind of a art whatever it is they have a certain target audience right. they have ani jar lok theater madhe tumchi film baghala yet astil that means it appeals to their whatever uh, thought process or their uh, thought of entertain whatever it is so even if you find something wrong uh, with respect to representation there is a way in which you can work on it for example you have salman khan movies okay i am not a big fan of salman khan i do have issues with uh, whatever his stories are but you need to understand ki kutla types of audience ti baghala yeti hai theater mate ani jar kuni tevda तेवढ्या अमाऊंटच इन्व्हेस्टमेंट करत असेल ऑफकोर्स दे हॅव बीन इन इंडस्ट्री अँड दे डू नो देअर ऑडियन्स दे डू नो की काहीतरी रिटर्न असतील किंवा काही असेल ते वॉट एव्हर इट इज अँड आफ्टर अ पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम जर ते नाही चाललं तर ते बंद पडेल इट्स नॉट लाईक ते नेहमी चालत राहील इवन दे नो दॅट दे वॉन्ट टू अर्न मनी राईट सो देर इज अ वे टू टॉक अबाउट सिनेमा अँड इफ यू हॅव एनी इशूज विद इट it's better if you get into that process and make it so being an aspiring filmmaker 
फॉर मी इट इज व्हेरी युजफुल टू हॅव दिस पर्स्पेक्टिव्ह की मला माहितीये मी जेव्हा कुठल्या फिल्म बद्दल बोलतीये तर मी कशी बोलणार आहे आणि ज्या प्रोजेक्ट वर मला काम करायचं आहे आय एम व्हेरी सिलेक्टिव्ह की मला कसं काम करायचं आहे आय एम व्हेरी वॉलनरेबल टू द फॅक्ट दॅट आय माईट मेक मिस्टेक्स माझं जे मी जे बनवतीये ते मे बी कुणाला कनेक्ट होणार नाही किंवा ते क्राफ्ट वाईज आवडू नाही शकत किंवा मे बी स्टोरी वाईज बोरिंग वाटू शकतं वॉट एव्हर इट इज बट आय हॅव टू बी ओपन अबाउट इट करेक्ट दॅट्स वॉट आय अंडरस्टूड टिल द डेट विच फिल्म क्रिटिक्स हॅव यू बीन इन्फ्लुएन्स बाय ऑर विच आर युअर फेवरेट फिल्म क्रिटिक्स ऑर पीपल हू स्पीक अबाउट फिल्म ऑर राईट अबाउट फिल्म Uh, I need to read a uh, or I, I need to explore many critiques and I think I'm not yet uh, exposed to many critiques except the mainstream ones mm, uh, I'm okay with the uh, Bhardwaj Rang he is okay. I find his interviews I find his way of taking interviews his way of talking about films writing about films a bit more uh, respectful a bit more uh not yeah respectful and convincing for me also mm-hmm. like i can gather that pretty much right. uh other than that i feel manje uh, uh i i read this uh, i think uh, you shared a post with me right about uh, how criticism indian criticism is not uh, that uh, great right now i think you shared humans of cinema i think right. they they yeah. yes did a post about this yes. yeah सो त्याच्यामध्ये त्यांनी हा पॉइंट खूप चांगला नोट केलाय की दिस प्रोफेशनल क्रिटिक्स डोंट हॅव इनफ टाइम टू प्रोसेस वॉट दे सॉ लाईक दे हॅव अ डेडलाईन राईट दे हॅव अ डेडलाईन अँड यू नीड टू राईट सर्टन अमाऊंट ऑफ वर्ड्स ऑर यू नीड टू डू अ व्हिडिओ ऑफ अ सर्टन टाइम लिमिट यू नीड टू जस्ट एक्सप्रेस वॉट एव्हर इट इज सो कन्सिडरिंग दॅट यू आय थिंक यू नीड you need a certain amount of time to process what whatever you have seen and is there after deadlines still so you might just write whatever you feel like you might react to it. you will not respond to it you will react to whatever you felt in first glance itself right so maybe i think critics so but aso ho shakta this is my this is my prediction ki tumhala ती डेडलाईन त्या डेडलाईन मध्ये तुम्हाला ते द्यावं लागतं म्हणून तुम्हाला पहिल्या झटक्यात जे वाटलं ते तुम्ही लिहून मोकळे होत आहे अँड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ वॉट एव्हर थिअरी यू हॅव लर्न सो फार ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ युअर क्रिटिसिझम का प्रॅक्टिस टिल द डेट वॉट डू यू थिंक हू 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 आर दी ऑडियन्स ऑफ क्रिटिक्स लाईक डू यू थिंक अ लेबर ऑर ऑर एनीबडी फ्रॉम अ वर्किंग क्लास रीड्स द रिव्ह्यूज आय डोंट थिंक इट मॅटर्स मार्च द फिल्म रिव्ह्यूज which is where which is why all these films on so much money right it had film reviews mattered so much all these trashy films wouldn't have earned so much money but they still do which means uh word of mouth is the most important thing like if you tell me that you like the film it's highly likely that i'll also go and watch the film so i think you're completely right yeah. a normal person yeah. who's not invested in films uh, and is not a film buff as such they won't really read reviews yeah. sometimes i feel like people assume that uh, because there a lot lot of process goes in making a film right, right. a right. lot of like yeah. for a feature film you need few months to make it you have a pre production manje to be scripting karta drafts ek aste dusra draft hoto tisra hoto ma tumhala te shooting days astat certain मग त्याच्यानंतर पोस्ट प्रोडक्शन त्याच्यानंतर आता मार्केटिंग आलंय मग तुम्हाला प्रमोशन करावं लागतं प्रमोशनसाठी वेगळी स्टोरी टेलिंग करावी लागते तुम्हाला टू जस्ट ब्रिंग दॅट ऑडियन्स टू वॉच युअर फो राईट सो आय थिंक वेन एव्हर अ क्रिटिक इज रायटिंग एनी रिव्ह्यू दे शुड जस्ट अंडरस्टँड की ह्या सगळ्या गोष्टी त्या फिल्म बनवायसाठी किंवा ती फिल्म तुमच्यापर्यंत आणण्यासाठी होत आहे सो जस्ट बी अ बिट आय वुड से Uh, grounded and okay. what 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 so, what did you say sensitive Or? yeah sensitive yeah yeah sensitive is a right word mm-hmm. and empathetic to mm-hmm. the overall process have the understanding what all goes in that that's the only thing you can you can actually express your uh, whatever uh, problem you have with that film but then again you need to understand ki uh, what's the solution like what is the solution of whatever you are talking about? for example uh, i i watched gehraiya mm. okay it's a recent film yeah i watched gehraiya and uh, whatever reviews i read 
were very extreme like uh, because they are doing uh, so many promotional activities right so people are like itna promotion kar rahe ho itna deep hai deep hai bata rahe ho lekin kuch to hai hi nahi usme so of course like it's like i am not expecting this from audience right audience might react yeah. randomly you know they they will just react and they will just want people to uh, they will just want the filmmakers to have some perfect film mm-hmm. right but especially who is there into the profession who is in, in connection with so many people at least they can make sure to not uh, express it in black and white narrative i think we can do exercises where we can make people understand the process of filmmaking we can actually open up the conversation uh, where uh, you can you can uh, discuss about how it could be better maybe or you can do a comparative analysis ki mujhe gehraiyan azar nahi avadli to ka nahi avadli right it could be very subtle you know maybe it's my thought process i don't know if it's uh, it's a uh, convincing to people but this is my own thought process just because i am into film making so i know what all lokala khup tras asto ki manje he lokanna avdel ka nahi he audience la karan mala ek express hoyche hai ani maybe tujya sathi te khupach boring asu mm-hmm. but then how to understand ani you know uh, even if you uh, listen to so many manje khup sagla changla changla film makers sa kiwa artists sa tu interviews aikla na many a times they say this that they don't know that who is their audience especially right now na in mm. current times mm. jawa itka kya sagla goshti social media varti ahe khup lok ashe khup lok khup sagla cultures shi connected hai ha tyamule tumcha audience kon hai na he lagges nahi aplyala kalat kadi kadi nahi mhanje te jo parant ti film hit hoti hai kya flop hoti hai lagges kalat nahi ek andaz apna apna I, that film was flop oh, at yeah. that time yeah. but it is a cult classic right now correct so you cannot really uh, you know define so baras varas apan nahi sangu shakat ki kutli goshta kunal jasa ki mi sangitle kabir singh mala nahi avad as a craft yes it's amazing manje mm-hmm. performance wise sangli hai music wise sangli hai but ja paddhati ne writing ji hoti characters ji ती मला पटली नाही देर इज अ डिफरन्स बिटवीन ग्लॉरिफाईंग समथिंग अँड शोईंग समथिंग रिअलिस्टिक सो यू हॅव सो मेनी फिल्म वेअर यू हॅव लॉड कॅरेक्टर्स सो मेनी फिल्म बट वेन द रायटर नोज द डिफरन्स बिटवीन लाईक देर इज अ थिन लाईन बिटवीन शोईंग समवन हू इज सो फ्लॉड इन अ हिरोईक वे दॅट इज ओके टू बी दॅट आणि to show that there is some consequences and he deserves to have those consequences okay so when you were telling me all of this i was wondering what kind of films does she like personally what are some films she has liked for the past few years which she thinks have captured what are your stories they are telling really perfect uh, in my childhood i was uh, like i love bollywood films a lot like i i used to i kabhi khushi kabhi gham was my favorite film. Right. was my all time favorite film it is not now but i loved that film a lot uh because of the songs and because of whatever drama happens because you know you get emotionally connected to the music and the way they performed etc etc but after getting exposed to uh world cinema or you know a different kind of cinema i also understood that my uh, my attraction or my uh, interest lies in uh, films which showcase human relationships the complexity is in human relationships in a very subtle way mm. and they are yet they are still dramatic right it's not like bore nahi hot mala the so right. i will tell you my favorite films monsoon wedding hai meera nair meera nair ne ji direct ke liye hai it's one of my favorite films manje ti film bagun mi ajun hi ti bagu shakta म्हणजे तुझ्या तुझ्याशी बोलल्यानंतर मी परत बघेल म्हणजे खूप सगळे सीन्स मी परत परत जाते परत परत बघते द वे शी हॅज यु नो शोन व्हेरी मेनी मेनी ऍस्पेक्ट ऍक्च्युली शी हॅज शोन डिफरंट वेज ऑफ लव्हिंग यु नो अगेन चाइल्ड सेक्शुअल अब्युज त्याच्यामध्ये पण दाखवलेला आहे त्याच्यामध्ये रिलेशनशिप फॅमिली रिलेशनशिप कसे असतात त्याच्यावर भाष्य केलेलं वगैरे अँड इट्स अ व्हेरी नाईस फिल्म म्हणजे एंटरटेनिंग काही मला बोर होत नाही काही नाही काही नाही ओव्हर ड्रामा कुठेच नाही आहे उगाच डायलॉग दिलं तसं वाटत नाही कुठेच नाही इट हॅज म्युझिक इट डज हॅव म्युझिक सो या मॉन्सून वेडिंग आय लाईक मसान 
of course like it's it's uh, i cried i have cried a lot after watching musan i have cried a lot because again uh, directors or writers who know how to you know go to the core go to the core it's it's never black and white for me mala ashes lok ashes lok avartat je grey bhasha madhe boltat mala khup avartat te je who can who can actually do justice to what we are as you know it's it's not that atta mi tujhashi bolti hai ani kuni he aiklo tar asa vatel ki are kay intellectual mulgi hai kay bolti hai vagare vagare asa vatu shakta but i do have my insecurities right i maybe asa hu shakta ki udya uthun mi asa nahi bolu shakta maybe atta i am very fresh ani atta mi process karu shakte khup sagla gosti right right सो असे फिल्म मला खूप आवडतात ज्याच्यामध्ये हे कॉम्प्लेक्सिटीज खूप छान पद्धतीने दाखवतात इट्स नॉट टू बोरिंग म्हणजे अगदीच काहीतरी वेगळा शॉट लावलाय आणि अगदीच ते चालत चाललंय आणि मला काही समजत नाही असंही नाही बट सो आय लाईक किल्ला आय लव्ह यू लव्ह किल्ला मॅन किल्ला इट्स आय वॉच किल्ला सो मच अँड आय लव्ह इट लाईक आय नो लाईक यु आर सपोज टू स्पीक बट आय जस्ट लाईक इंटरजेक्ट इन बिटवीन किल्ला I grew up in Alibag uh, which is a small coastal town south of Mumbai and like the protagonist shifts from Pune to Alibag and I shifted from Alibag to Pune mm-hmm. but just the whole vibe uh, of the film um, where they are chilling near the uh, sea uh, and living in a coastal town uh, and her his relationship with his mom yeah. like like it it's so good uh, and this so much softness and subtlety uh, to that and and we all like you you are maharashtrian i am maharashtrian like we grew up grew up in a very similar environment where similar yeah. we speak in in a certain way and we behave in a certain way so that film just really touched me so much um, also because that child is going through uh, so many emotions at at such a small age and he's new to the school <laughs> and i was new to a school in pune so yeah like i am not being very articulate but killa is one of my favorite no no that's fine je ta mula cha lahan mula cha je character lila hai na te mala itka award le like the thing is what i feel uh, uh, in indian in most of the indian films lahan mula la uh, mature dakhala jat nahi ki wa we we consider a child to be uh, someone who Emotional. doesn't understand uh, who, who is dumb or right. you know manje as a passive vartat mala te characters passive kahi tari karta hai kyun they are used as a, a fun some kahi tari comedy ase kyun kahi tari so cute cute adorable adorable yodo jasta te but uh, but this film is not that manje hacha madhe actually ते पण मज्जा मस्ती करतात त्याच्या जे त्याचे जे को स्टार्स आहेत जी लहान मुलं दाखवली आहेत ती आहेत की म्हणजे ते इनोसेंट आहेत ते खूप खूप दंगा वगैरे करतात बट येट दे हॅव डेप्थ इन डेथ म्हणजे ती लहान मुलं ज्या पद्धतीने लिहिली आहेत ना ते मला खूप आवडलं असं खूप रेअरली दिसतं आणि मला हे इराणियन सिनेमा जर तू बघितलास ना दे राईट चाईल्ड कॅरेक्टर सो वेल व्हेरी वेल म्हणजे ते असं ऍज अ पॅसिव्ह कॅरेक्टर किंवा पॅसिव ऑडियन्स म्हणून ट्रीट करत नाही त्यांचा स्वतःचा एक रोल आहे स्वतःच काहीतरी एक आयडेंटिटी आहे त्यांची स्वतःची आहे इट्स नॉट गिव्हन टू देम बाय देअर पेरेंट्स बट दे हॅव देअर ओन वे ऑफ अंडरस्टँडिंग एव्हरीथिंग समथिंग टू डू विथ फॅमिली ड्रामा आय विल लव्ह दॅट इव्हन इन रोमॅन्टिक कॉमेडीज आय 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 डोंट लाईक होपलेस रोमॅन्टिक इट्स इट्स जस्ट नॉट it's also to do with how i am as a person it's also to do with how i believe in relationships it's not that manje mala kai tari aso vegla bagu nahi vatat but it's like me connect mala aso vatat ki ra ka bolta aso manje kay hai he aso pure dialogue ka bolayachi garaj hai manje to express your love it's not necessary you have to do grand things aso so if you ask me romantic films i would love before sunrise before trilogy purnas mala khup avadte manje aso We connect too, Shakti, that was still a, I love boy. Uh, you have, have you heard of boyhood? Yeah, boyhood. I've seen boyhood. Yeah. Yeah. I love that film. Even if it's very lengthy. So, who, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. But I like that film. I, I love it. I love it a lot. Uh, Avanti, I have been following you for a while on Instagram. And I see that you go for 
shoots on different locations uh so are you actively involved in filmmaking uh, and if yes what is your current role uh, and how did this transition happen from studying films to getting involved in filmmaking okay uh so as i said uh, i was very much involved in filmmaking process since my graduation so we used to make independent independent short films uh and i liked the process i i love the process of how we sit together and we write a story and we you know do research about characters location etc etc their back story so i love the overall process because uh i love exploring human behavior and psychology that's yeah. the basic thing. uh and uh i won't call myself um i think i i will hesitate to call myself working in film industry as such because it's very huge i am exploring different formats so for example right now i am here in bangalore doing a like a short uh, mini series like a documentary project for an ngo so they need me to uh, they want me to do a video on waste pickers so i think uh, filmmaking hai fakta feature filmmaking kya jab apan theater madhe bagto इथपर्यंत रेस्ट्रिक्टेड नाही आहे आणि फॉर मी आय डू नॉट जस्ट वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लोर सिनेमा सिनेमा इज माय लव्ह आय लव्ह इट बट आय वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लोर मेनी वेज ऑफ स्टोरी टेल बिकॉज आय नो दॅट इवन आय हॅव बीन इन्फ्लुएन्स्ड ऑर आय हॅव सर्टन इम्पॅक्ट ऑफ वॉट एव्हर ऑडिओ व्हिज्युअल नरेशन इज हॅपनिंग अराउंड राईट सो आय वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लोर डॉक्युमेंट्रीज आय वॉन्ट टू uh understand how advertisement works i want to uh, explore something into animation videos like every uh, every format has its own speciality right so right now i'm not restricting myself to only and only feature films every project has uh, made me grow in a different way in that way and even my assignments like my academic projects are a huge like जस लाईक आय टोल्ड यू ना की आम्हाला असं होतं की आम्हाला काहीतरी एक्सप्रेस करायचं होतं त्यामुळे माझे अकॅडमिक प्रोजेक्ट हे खूप जवळचे आहेत माझे सो इन माय ग्रॅज्युएशन फिल्म वी आर सपोज टू सबमिट अ फिल्म सो आय एक्सप्लोर्ड अ सब्जेक्ट दॅट इज व्हेरी सेन्सिटिव्ह अँड व्हेरी पर्सनल टू मी मी कधीच त्याच्याबद्दल कुणाला एक्सप्रेस केलं नसेल बट आय एक्सप्लोर्ड समथिंग अबाउट हाव युअर फॅमिली सराउंडिंग हाव अ फॅमिली सराउंडिंग कॅन अफेक्ट अ चाइल्ड Mm. and uh, whatever we discussed right now na ki kasa manje indian culture madhe lahan mulanna passes je tara dum samaj lata ki tela kay karte asa karto ti gosht mala tatna dakhvaychi so i i showcased uh, many things uh, which were uh, for me it was new to express that openly in such a wide space right i am working on something that is very personal to me and yeah. in such a like we have we have to work on deadlines right सो तुम्हाला खूप वेळ मिळत नाही त्या स्क्रिप्ट वर काम करायला ते परफेक्ट बनवायला बट वॉट एव्हर आय मेड इट इज व्हेरी क्लोज टू मी देन अगेन आय डिड अन ऍड ऑन अ ट्रान्सजेंडर इन माय कॉलेज असाइनमेंट सेल्फ बट आय मेड शुअर दॅट इट इज नॉट जस्ट अन असाइन आय इट वॉज माय क्युरिओसिटी अबाउट हु आर ट्रान्स पीपल एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा सो वी वी वर सपोज टू मेक अ थर्टी सेकंड्स का ऍड सो आय चोज Uh, a product biba mm. if you have heard about biba biba clothing brand yeah, i think yeah. you might have yeah. heard yeah. so i did an ad on that and again that experience was close to me because i actually got an opportunity to interview a trans uh, mm. woman mm. Uh, so i still know that person but it was a very eye opener for me yeah it, it, it was a very nice experience and then i think i uh, yeah recently i have worked uh in an ad uh i worked as an actor okay so i went bold i went bold for that uh, yeah. uh overall experience and uh i won't say i was connected with the writing process because i was approached by the director mm. like after the scripting i was ne- i was not there in the scripting process i was just approached a- a- approached as an actor because uh, they wanted someone who can actually go bold right like that so the ओवरऑल प्रोसेस ऑफ मेकिंग आणि पहिल्यांदा मी पेड प्रोजेक्ट करत होते पहिल्यांदा असं प्रोफेशनल सेटअप मी बघितलेला की जिथे खूप मोठा कॅमेरा आहे आणि कसं वर्किंग होतं वगैरे वगैरे सो इवन दो आय एम नॉट दॅट मच इन्व्हॉल्व इन दी रायटिंग प्रोसेस यु नो स्टेपिंग इन टू दी पोझिशन ऑफ अॅक्टर 
has helped me understand how I can work better as a director. Mm. And I make them understand something. Or kaya she hints us that je tanna ti goshta karu karala bhag padu shakta. So yeah, these are few of my projects. And I did a, a documentary uh, in my masters. Uh, so for the submission itself, and I am thinking of working on the same subject in a long format. So okay. that documentary is also close to me because uh, again, it's uh, related to how female experience menstruation, mm. uh, and I want to explore that part in a different way, which has not been done yet, uh, or I haven't seen that yet. Okay. So I'm, I'm figuring out how to do that. Okay, I see. And coming to the last part of our uh, segment, where do you see yourself in five, ten years? Uh, I know you said that. Uh, I know people hate this question, and I know you said that you are still figuring out. You mentioned a few departments. How do you see yourself uh, exploring them further? Uh, what are some long-term goals you have in terms of your profession? Okay, uh, so I would love to explore more into writing direction. Mm-hmm. in different storytelling formats like i told you before and uh, i want to make sure that i earn good money with do, by by doing all that right. and uh, apart from that i would like to connect uh, uh films or in general art with education or with the okay. uh, counseling uh, you know i i want to uh, there are many spaces actually in india and in abroad where people work uh uh with films to make people uh, to make the audience understand psychology better or to you know to mental health something like that so i would like to do something in a uh, space of art and education films and education films and counseling how we can use film screenings to you know uh broaden the perspective to dis- open the discourse and i do think that it makes a difference and i do know spaces uh, where people conduct such uh, screenings or people conduct art workshops etc so i am interested in that but uh, after achieving certain kind of i think credibility uh, while working in storytelling i want to achieve some kind of experience and then go into facilitating i would love that cool uh avanti this has been so good uh i have always chatted with you on instagram and now doing this in person feels feels so amazing so thank you so much for agreeing to do this uh for having faith in me and uh for being a part of my show thank you so much thank you so much <laughs>